Hello, my name is Chris Palmer, and in today's Google My Business optimization video, I'd like to cover some Google My Business and Google Map tips that can help you find three different things. Now, these three different things are actually machine codes and also links that can help you when you're sending traffic, applying CTR, and multiple other tactics that are and multiple other tactics that are utilized for Google My Business and Google Maps optimization. So, the very first thing that I want to show you how to find is going to be your CID also known as your Google My Business customer identification. So in order to find this, you will need a business. So for this example, we're going to just go ahead and use Chris Palmer Marketing. So that's me. So what you will need to do is you're going to want to find your business. So I've located the business. Now we'll head over here to Maps and we want to find the CID. So CID, like I mentioned, is the customer ID. In order to find this, we'll head right over to Google Maps. Now that we're on Google Maps, we know we'll need to wait for on the left side for this small box to pop up. Once this box pops up, what we will want to do is just highlight and copy where it says the initial category or primary category. Once we have that right next to that where that primary category is, we're going to right click. If you're using a PC, which I am on Mac, it may be different. But we're going to view the source code. Now, what we are going to do is once we bring up our source code, what we are looking for is going to be, and, and to find this, we're going to need to hit Control F. So that's Control Find on PC. Again, if you're using a Mac, it may be different. But what we're looking for is LU. Oh, let's just do CID. All right, so we have found CID. Let's, all right, so here we go. So as you scroll down, you're going to see that a few CIDs pop up on mine. There is eight, but as you can see here, it's L-U-D-O-C-I-D. I just searched CID, but you do not want this one here that has the U number. You want the one next to it that has hashtag L-R-D. Now, before the hashtag, there is a number. If you take a look here, this number right here is going to be the customer identification number. Now, every single Google My Business on Google Maps will have a CID, and this is how you find it. Now, let's go ahead and move into the very next Google My Business, Google Maps optimization tip. So, the next one is going to be, let's say you have a competitor. When you have a competitor or you're launching a brand new Google My Business on Google Maps, you want to know not only their primary category, but what are the other categories that they are using. Now, these categories are known as secondary categories. So, how you find these is very simple, and I'll just start right back over. What you will do is you're going to highlight again where it says the primary category you will right click and copy and there's a reason for this now right next to where it says the primary category you're going to right click on a pc and you're going to go to view page source now when view page source when the page source opens up what you will need to do is hit Control f and you're just going to right click paste in that initial primary category where you are then going to press the down button and what we're looking for is inside of this black you'll see a lot of knolls see this right here it's highlighting it internet marketing service this is my primary category and then next to it are the secondary categories now these secondary categories may be different depending upon your particular niche or industry now for me I have just a few that I have but you may only just have one or some people may only have two it really depends on the niche but as you can see here I'm highlighting the secondary categories web consultant designer uh, advertising agency marketing agency so on and so forth so that is how you find the secondary category of your competitors now let's go ahead and move into the machine readable entity ID now this is generally used for stringing machine codes this is a machine code to keywords so you can send traffic this may be a little bit advanced however let me go ahead and show you how to find your machine readable 
entity ID. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click again, view page source when we're on the maps page. And then in order to find this, very simply, we're going to hit Control F on a PC. Again, maybe different on Mac. And what we're looking for is forward slash G forward slash. What this will do is it's going to bring you to your machine readable entity ID, which there's the G forward slash forward slash. And then this number right here is your machine readable entity ID. So all of these things are done right from Google Maps. My name is Christopher Palmer. If you have any questions at all related to Google My Business, Google My Business Optimization, if you need any GMB SEO or Google My Business tips or optimization tactics, local SEO, really anything local SEO, Google My Business, GMB SEO, Google Maps, affiliate SEO, just search engine optimization, digital marketing, or if you just want to say hi, feel free to go ahead and reach out, leave it in the comments below, and I look forward to seeing you in the next Google My Business, Google Maps, Optimization Tips video. Have a wonderful day.